Today we're going to give you a complete breakdown on what can and can't be sent via media mail. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about media mail specifically. We're going to go in, we're going to show you some items so you can understand specifically what is and isn't included in media mail. There's a lot of confusion still to this day constantly on media mail. So let's look right now at some of what the government posts on media mail itself. Now, there's many pages that talk about the ruling on media mail. Most of them are just articles and are not specific quotes from the rules. So this is just a breakdown sheet. This isn't the rule book itself. This is just an article on it. Now, what matters, though, is this section right here. This is 170 Retail Media Mail. This is the actual code itself. This is the only thing that matters when it comes down to what is or isn't allowed. If it is a book and it is eight printed pages or more and does not have any advertising, it is allowed to be shipped as a book. That is plain and simple, the rules it states right here. Now, the only exception for advertising, if there is some incidental, like a couple little sections advertising for another book, that is allowed in it. Otherwise, it is not. Now, catalogs in general, I hear people tell me a catalog can go media mail. A catalog in itself is a paid piece of advertisement. The aspect of a catalog is to sell you something out of that catalog. So every catalog under that thought is a non-media item, cannot go via media mail at all. Goes on to printed music, bound music, sheet music, of course, is another thing. Even player piano rolls are specifically mentioned in here as being able to be sent media because a player piano roll as well is a recording technically. So this is the only page that matters when you come down to the bottom line there. So let's actually look at some of the items that we're talking about here. Player piano rolls. Most people think these are not media. A player piano roll is a recording and qualifies fully as media mail. Every one of them does. There is no exemption that says this specific kind cannot go that way. 8mm and 16mm films. These are media mail as well. Regardless of the content, if it's on 16mm or 8mm film, something that you can play, it has to be ready to play as media. It cannot be blank or anything like that in any of these areas. These are media. Records. Records as well of any size. Any size of a record is a recording and can then be sent as media mail. So all records are media mail, regardless of the size at all. Record size can run from down to 3 inches all the way up to 16 inches for some of the transcription background music records that you will find. Sheet music. All sheet music is considered media, whether it's in a book form, the regular format, or the large format. If it is sheet music, it is 100% media mail as well. DVDs. Again, this is media. This can go media mail as well. So can VHS tapes. Movies in general like this are media mail. So are sound cassette tapes. Cassettes in general of any type, whether it's a Betamax, a VHS, the 8mm, all of those, if they are pre-recorded or have recorded data on them, they can be sent media mail that way. Now, one area people do get mixed up in is blank media. Media that has not been recorded on. Anything that has not been recorded on is just blank media cannot, 100% cannot go media mail. It has to have content to be considered actual media mail. Blank media is not content. There is nothing on it. There's no recordings or anything else like that that would be considered the media. This is just medium, the part that actually the media goes on technically. Books we've already discussed, so you already know books, as long as there are eight pages or more, it doesn't matter how it is bound, as long as it is eight pages or more, whether it's softbound, hardbound, or whatever the case may be, stapled, spiral bound, or whatever, as long as it is a book with content that is eight pages or more, it is media mail. Now, two areas people get confused and have a lot of aggravation on are comic books and magazines. 
technically these can go media mail if they qualify by those specific standards. Now, most people say these are banned, not allowed to go media mail. The rules state that if it is a book, this is a book and it is over eight pages, this is over eight pages, and it has no advertising, it can go media mail. Neither of these that I am holding have any form of advertising in it and are hence technically by the rules would be considered media mail. Now there's a big distinction. You've got to make sure that there is no advertising in them whatsoever. You will probably run into some grief if you tell them there's comic books in there and you try to send them media mail because they're going to tell you that the rules say you cannot send magazines specifically or comic books specifically. Now that problem comes into being because of this form here. This is something that was done to hand out to employees so they would know instantly without having to read anything what is or isn't allowed. Now it says specifically comic books and then it quotes a specific statement from that section. And it says predominantly pictures may contain advertisements. So the reason they're telling you that comic books cannot be sent media is because they may contain advertisements. Now that is not what this states here. This is giving us where it's written at in the section stating that comic books cannot be sent. That is not correct. This is a handout basically written to kind of help the employees. This isn't word for word what the ruling states. So this would not be correct based on a comic book with no advertisements. Now I'll show you word for word back here. This is 173. This is 4. And it's telling us here that comic books are under A. 4.1.A. So here's 4.1 and A. Now books, there is no mention of a comic book not being able to be sent. Nowhere in here does it say comic books can't be sent. As this states, it follows the rules for a book. There is no advertising in this. That is the key. Advertising includes paid advertisements and the publisher's own advertising in display. There is none of that in the ones that I just showed you. This section also would apply to magazines. Again, magazines are not specifically mentioned in here at all. If a magazine or a comic book does not have advertising, they are just considered books by this. Again, this is the standard. This sheet here is not the standard. This sheet is their rough estimate, their rough guess to say that these items shouldn't be allowed based on such factors, like comic books with advertising. Coloring books are not for reading. They are for coloring in themselves. So again, they're not consistent. Activity books are not consistent technically as well either because they are mostly for doing some sort of activity like a puzzle book or a circle the word book or something along that line. So that is what this says. Now here we go into magazines as well. Advertising is not eligible for media prices. If there's no advertising, there is no violation of the rules. Other people have brought up the issue on old magazines because the articles would be dead. If there's advertising in the magazine, even if it's old, out of date, it still qualifies for paid advertisement because at some point somebody paid for those advertisements. So there is a ruling here that says age of document is irrelevant. But again, it still references 4.1.A, which again does not say magazines are not allowed, nor does it say comic books are not allowed. Now another aspect that people will talk about are graphic novels. Graphic novels are basically comic books that don't have advertising as well. They're just bigger and it's basically a book type story. It's no different than a regular comic book without advertising. They are qualified as it says here. Why is a graphic novel a comic book graphic novel? It even uses the word comic book eligible to be sent that way because it contains no advertising. So a regular comic book or a regular magazine with no, none, no advertising at all is technically allowed to go via media mail. Again, by their own standards. I have talked to many postmasters on this and that is correct. Again, this is what matters, not this sheet here that is dated from 2013. You will have people pull this up at the post office again. This is what they're giving 
statement and this information does not follow what postmasters would agree is correct this is just a guideline now i've had many conversations with postmasters we've been shipping for over 20 years and i've discussed the exact same issue with items such as these there is not a single form of advertisement in here anywhere. Not even a single box of advertisement. Everything in this Dell comic book is comic story. Again, that is what the qualifications state. Here is a graphic novel, Anne Rice, story. It's the same thing. This is allowed as well. This is even stated as being allowed and stated as being a comic book. Why can it be shipped and technically a regular comic book can't? Because there is no advertising in here. There is no advertising in here. This can go media mail. No advertising. That is the key. Again, this here, this magazine, there is absolutely not a single stitch of advertising in this as well. This is considered a pulp, basically. No advertising. There isn't even advertising for another magazine. I looked page by page for this. This is media mail as well. Now, people say comic books, they're not educational. It doesn't necessarily mean it's not educational because it's a comic book. Would this be considered educational, this kid's book? This is just basically the exact same thing as that comic book. This is fully allowed to go media mail. It's not educational to an adult, but it is to a child. A comic book could be educational to a child, too. Many comic books do tell good, wholesome stories about life. So there's no considering factor anywhere in the domestic mail manual that says a comic book is not allowed or is that is against specific content. Here's another example. This is another kid's book. This is basically a big comic book with kid's book stories in it. So again, this is able to go media mail. It's more than eight pages. There is no advertising in this at all either. Again, if any of these items had advertising in them at all, they would be disqualified from that. Here's another one. This is another magazine. There is not a single panel whatsoever of advertising in this at all. This qualifies as media mail as a book. Now, I know there's going to be some people and some hate to tell me that this is not correct. I have been over this a million times with the post office for more than 20 years. The DMM, the Domestic Mail Manual, is what counts. Not any of those other sheets that they're saying comic books can't be allowed. It even says as a disclaimer, as we showed you, because of advertisements. A graphic novel, no advertisements. A comic book with no advertisements is considered the same thing and can be sent that way as well. Still yet, some other ones like these painting instructional ones here. This is considered a book as well. There's eight pages or more. There is no advertising in here whatsoever. That is it. This is a book form as well and can go media mail. As long as you know what the actual rules state, not what some other sheet states, but what the domestic mail manual states, you are safe as long as you follow that. Again, as you saw, a comic book can be mailed even by the own sheet standard through via media mail as long as it has no advertisements. As a general rule, most comic books, 95%, have advertisements. That's why they're saying, as a general rule, comic books cannot go. The same thing goes for magazines. As long as there is no advertisements in them whatsoever, they are considered media mail. Now, if there's even a panel advertising anything other than another book or another magazine just like that, it does not qualify for media mail as well. Those are the rules straight from the post office. And as I've said, I've talked to quite a few postmasters personally in personal conversations who would agree that that's exactly what the standards are. Well, there you are. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends.